Greetings everyone. Today I've been calling to, um, uh, to resolving a real situation. And the situation at hand here is such that on this Windows 10 computer, um, the user has forgotten uh, the password. The user does not know what the password is. Even though there is an int, you try the int, it doesn't work. Try different combinations of the int on this password. See, it doesn't work. Okay. Try, doesn't work. Okay, so um, first thing, what I'm going to do here is to Right here, I'm going to go for, I'm going to restart. Okay, I'm going to restart. Click on restart. Now, while this computer is restarting, the moment it turns off, it shuts down and, and try to restart, I'm going to force it to shut down. That is, I'm going to do illegal shutdown. The moment... Okay, now it's starting, so I'm now pressing and holding the power button on the computer. What am I doing? I've shut it down. Okay, that is Ill that is an illegal shutdown. Okay, now press it on again. Press the power button, it's coming on. Okay, it's coming on. I'll give it a moment. The moment this starts, I press and hold the power button again. I'm, I'm holding the power button now to shut down. Okay, it's done again. It has shut down. So the second time, press the power button to turn it on again. Okay, now you can see it is coming on. It's coming on. Okay, now you see automatic repair. And now this is because of the um, of the illegal shutdown i did okay so i want this process to go through and then um, come up with a diagnostic tool okay now diagnosing your pc Okay, here you see Windows did not start correctly. Okay, what do you want to do? The option is to restart and advanced option. So um, I'll click on advanced option. The monitor is not too it's not in good shape. However, I'll I'll try as much as I can to pass the information I intend passing. So here you have continue, right here you have use a device, troubleshoot, turn off your PC. So I'm going to go with troubleshoot. Okay, so I'm going to go with troubleshoot. Troubleshoot, top here is a reset your PC and then advanced option. I'm going to go with advanced option. Okay, so I have um, options. First option here is to start up, um, start up settings, start up repair, command prompt, system restore. Uh, okay, so um, system image, I'll go for, for system image recovery. Okay. Um, this computer is running Windows 10 version 2004 and uh, you can see the command prompt is here but it requires the same password that um, the user has, uh, has forgotten the same password that is unknown so 
um, system restore or photo system image recovery so it requires the same password the same password so um, I guess uh, it's uh, it's a security feature that uh, Microsoft has enabled in Windows 10 and the later versions such that um, it makes this it makes it secure so um, I'm going to try another method and that method is to get the Windows Windows 10 operating system on a, uh, in a CD or in a USB drive and then boot from it and at the point of um, um, installation I go to repair your PC and um, try to enable the util map so um, that's what I will do next Okay, at boot up, I'm looking for. Okay, right now I have. Um, um, I couldn't find a Windows 10 CD. So I have a Windows 8.1 CD that I've inserted into the CD ROM. So now I'm looking for boot menu. Uh, that's F9. I say enter to that. Then it's on the DVD. ROM, so I go with PUFI HP DVD. Okay, that boots. Press any key to boot from CD or DVD. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm just going to sit here and wait for for it to boot into the CD. Okay, um, I'll pause the recording and wait for it to come up. Okay, here it is. Um, I'll go with next. Um, next, I'll choose repair your PC. Repair your computer. I'll go with the option to repair your computer. Okay, I'll go with the option to repair your computer. Okay, what I'm doing here is live recording because I'm on a I'm on a practical system it's not a virtual system so please don't mind my adjusting the camera to get a better view okay next uh, troubleshooting I'll go for advanced option command prompt okay so you have command prompt here um, I want to know the volume on which the installation is so I'll go for this part um, that's this disk part disk part okay always get the spellings right okay disk part so next list ball so it is list list volume okay here you see okay right on it you see volume one is is where the windows installation is so volume one as a partition for the windows installation so in windows installation is on volume one so um 
exit Dix Parks. Okay, then um, I'm going to drive C. That's where the Windows installation is. So that's drive C. So I go to drive C. Now I'm in drive C. Okay. Uh, look for change drive to Windows. Okay. CD to system system 32. Um, okay. It's in system 32 now. Okay. So right here in system 32, um, I'm renaming the Utilman Utilman um, Okay, so Utilman.exe I want to rename it to I'm remaining it to Utilmana Okay util manner okay say so enter that is done okay so while i'm still there i want to I'm copying i want to copy the cmd.exe i want to copy it to i want to copy it and make it the util man youtube man dot exe youtube man is uh, the utility manager okay so you copy the cmd dot exe and you make copy to youtube man dot exe Okay, so one file has been copied. Next, exit. Okay, exit and I'll continue. Exit and continue to Windows 10. Like I said, this is a live recording. I'm on a, I'm on a, I'm on a, I'm on a live system. Um, that is, I'm working with a physical system, not virtual. So, uh, and I'm doing this from a client's um, location. So I'm just doing this recording just to share with um, with the rest of the world how I, uh, I, I how I do this. I'm able to resolve this issue. So right here where I am, there is no Windows 10 CD, and um, uh, <clears throat> what I can find is the Windows 8.1 8 CD, which I'm using now, okay? So we are back to the logon screen. Now the logon screen, uh, I'll go to ease of access. You can see ease of access here, where my finger is ease of access like i said i'm on a physical system at a client site so i'll click that <clears throat> and that immediately comes up with the command prompt okay i'll drag that this down a bit so you have a better view and i'll zoom in a little bit okay so what do i do want to do with this command prompt um, so I'm going to do something like net user. How many users on this computer? Okay, I have the administrative account, which is not enabled. I have the ICT account, um, the ICT admin account. So there are two accounts, um, the administrator the default account that account is not enabled and then um 
at the ICT admin account. So I would I wouldn't want to bother myself with the administrator's account. So I'm just going to I'm just going to to work on the the account this account the ICT admin account. Okay, go to zoom in a little bit just to give us clearer view. Okay, so I'm just going to bother myself with this account alone so what have i said here net user admin i'll put a style to that okay and enter oh okay my command is uh, is not correct okay um i think i missed something with my command um what could that be? Net users, net space user. Um, okay, there should be a space there. Aha, uh -huh, okay. So there's a space. Okay, uh, now I'm required to put a password. Password, and um, I'd like to leave it blank. Um, I like to leave it blank. By leaving it blank, I mean don't put any passwords. I'll hit the enter button again. Okay, it says confirm. Yes, enter again. Okay, so what this has done here is that it, that this user account, ICT admin, um. There will be no password at login. It will, um, you don't need to input a password. Okay, I'll leave it like that so that the user can put in a password that uh, that she can remember subsequently. Uh, okay, so I've only resetted the password for the ICT admin account. That's the account that um, whoever that did the initial setup for her um, used as the admin account as a local admin account so um this is done just going to zoom out a bit and uh, close this hit the enter button and this time around there should be no issue you should just log in so let's give it a moment and see what happens aha Hi. Hi to you too. My tax here is done. I've been able to bypass the password. I'm, I've been able to remove the password um, to this to this computer um on a client at a client's um, site um, it's this computer is running windows 10 and uh, i couldn't lay on on any windows 10 cd not even a usb containing windows 10 you can see i use this this is what i found here and you see it's um, it's a windows 8.1 pro cd okay um but it has done the it has done the job and i think um that'll be all for now um, subsequently i'll leave it to the user to put in a password that she can remember so thank you thank you for sticking with me